I'm Chris Morrison with Planet Green Solutions, and we have our 20 kilowatt automated biomass power producing system here in front of us today. Uh, you'll notice that every aspect of this is automated. It's computer controlled. We have automated valves, uh, automated sequence operation. It decides when to send the gas up to the flare during warm up and when to send the gas back to turn the engine. The engine is operating today and we're operating on a variety of feedstocks. What I have in front of you now is horse waste and this is pine shavings bedding and horse waste mixed together and run through a briquette machine that makes a densified uniform briquette. We also are running today wood chips about the size uh, that's called a G30, 30 millimeter wood chips uh, in the system right now. Uh, this system is capable of running a variety of the energy crops, which is very popular today. Uh, Miscanthus grass and uh, uh, switchgrass and a variety of those other grasses. Once they're put through a pelletizer or a briquette machine, it runs very simply through this engine. Uh, this system is automatically fed by a hopper and auger. It has a, a level control and decides when to turn the hopper on and operate. And now we are looking at the control board for the system. And I'm going to draw your attention to the digital readouts that we have that are supplying information to our PLC. The top set of numbers, the 954, 975, um, that is our temperature in Celsius inside the reactor itself at one of the hotter zones. And it's telling us that we're way above necessary temperature for operation and it has given the signal for the engine to run which it has been doing for quite some time. The system is seeking equilibrium all the time, so that temperature is starting to stay right around between uh, 980 and uh, 1,000 degrees Celsius. The second readout that you see is our gas exit temperature, and that is in Fahrenheit. And that's the temperature going on to our filtration and cooling system before it goes to the engine. And the final temperature that you see is the temperature of the final gas after all cooling and filtration as it enters the engine itself. And that's 87 degrees in Fahrenheit. So as you can see, this engine and system is very stable and operating very well. Even though today is an extremely hot and humid day, we must be very close to 100% humidity. What's been fascinating in this process of developing this commercial biomass processing system is the variety of applications that this can be used for. You might be surprised on your rural farm or small business application that you have a waste that could be turned into a fuel and that could power your entire facility. If you're interested in this, you need to contact us at Planet Green Solutions. Uh, you can call us by phone and talk to me directly. Uh, we are happy to answer questions and explain how this is an important step that many of us should take towards attaining sustainable energy in our country. We have systems that allow our generator to send that electricity back to the grid. And that's part of the smart grid technology. And it does this efficiently and allows you even greater return on your investment.